Hi Venus, this is Dr. Srikanth from Team MDS Conquer. Now I'm here to discuss a few important aspects related to uh, medical emergencies. As already discussed, medical emergencies are one of the important aspects related to your oral surgery and it is mandatory that you have to finish this at your best. And I hope you are done with all the videos of medical emergencies that are provided in your smart video session. So now I'll be talking other important aspects related to the medical emergencies which are already discussed on the group i'm just going to give a brief idea so if you take 2020 neat examination into consideration there were two three two to three questions which are moving around medical emergencies and 2009 18 into consideration you have more than three to four questions which are related to the drug interactions in medical emergencies so i hope you know the vasoconstrictor which is an ingredient that is present in your local anesthetic and its drug reactions with other things okay so please do make a note about so these are the drugs which are going to react with the uh, vasoconstrictor and leading to these manifestations and these are the things that has to be done to get avoided or prevented from this okay so for example if you take cocaine Okay, so whenever you have a vasoconstrictor added to cocaine, there are high chances that the vasoconstrictor effect increases and it may lead to cardiac arrest. So it's better you avoid cocaine for the patients who are under the influence of the cardiac conditions. And do make a note of all these underlying stuff which were previously asked in various examination and this pick was directly taken from the malamed. Okay, so most of your 2018 3 to 4 drug interaction related questions were directly from the tables of malamed. <clears throat> the next goes is the drug okay what is the drug metronidazole how the metronidazole is going to react with i hope uh, i hope you are well familiar with this like metronidazole in combination with alcohol it's going to produce the side effects like uh, the headache palpations and the nausea and all these side effects and make sure this is how you can prevent it to occur and this was the question that is given in the case of need 2018 that metronidazole in combination with the anticoagulants what is going to happen okay so how you can prevent this so please do make a note of all these drug interactions of metronidazole with other things because metronidazole is one of the common drug that is used in dentistry right so it is used in your perio it is used in used as a drug of choice in the case of your oral surgery too the next comes is ciprofloxacin okay so this is this is a question that is given this is a question that is given so most of these questions were commonly repeated okay so please do make a note of these tables just have a glance how the tetracycline this question was given oral contracepts uh, effect of oral contracepts related to the tetracycline was again a question that is given so please do make a note uh, about the uh, tetracycline interaction with warfarin tetracycline reaction with the disoxin and tetracycline reaction with oral contracepts or any any of these hormones and next comes i hope you are well familiar with this diagram that is <laughs> big wall mask so regularly if you have a positive pressure oxygen it's going to provide 100 percent is oxygen and mouth to breathing mouth to mouth is going to be 16 percent and mouth to mask is going to be 16 percent and if you take the medical uh, drug kitting into consideration you have these modules that is a module one which consists of a basic emergency kit that is the critical drugs and the equipment are present the module 2 which contains non-critical drugs and the equipment module 3 contains advanced life support system and module 4 contains the antidontal drugs so they can ask you the module and they can ask you what does it contain so this is basically module 4 okay that is antidontal drugs so please do make a note these are the most commonly asked question related to the antidontals and the next comes is uh, what happens in the case of ne uh, partial air obstruction causes of partial air obstruction so basing upon the sound <laughs> whether it's wheezing or snoring or crowing so you can identify the cause and followed by this is the management okay so all these are medical emergencies which are very very important they can give a case scenario that the patient uh, <coughs> and uh, probably because of these like you you have here something called as a wheezing sound so what what you're going to do so th that is basically the question which is given in the case of your neat 2020 examination the next comes i hope you are well familiar with this this question was repeated in 2019 all all most of these questions were 
straight away taken from the textbooks okay so please do make a note note, note about this underlined stuff and uh, um, what is the basic difference of this procedure in the case of an adult and children is an important aspect which is there in this please do have a glance so this is what which is done in the adult okay so the other aims and everything given by the scientist and <laughs> do make a note okay so add, add a note of these point too and we have already discussed this when i'm talking about the oral surgery as the blood levels of lidocaine raises 4.5 mu grams per ml the early signs and symptoms of cns alterations appear these are those are usually like uh, talkativeness tremors okay and numbness in the tongue and the perioral region may result from the rich blood supply to these tissues and allowing the drug okay so please do make a note this this is the value that we have discussed in the oral surgery video and i hope you are well familiar with this levinson which is mainly associated with myocardial infection and these are the probable causes of unconsciousness in the dental chair the most common cause for unconsciousness in the dental chair is a well known that is syncope fainting okay and uh, other uh, other common causes can be uh, drug administration the second cause can be drug administration or injection and all these are the less common causes but you will encounter these medical emergencies in the dental office and make a note <coughs> the treatment for these medical emergencies that is that is more important